Hello and welcome to Legends Of. Today we are looking at a legend of New York City, Ludwig the Bloodsucker. Considered the United States' first form of vampire folklore and one of the earliest urban legends in U.S. history, Ludwig was reported in New York City around the 1870s. It is said that he set up shop in a seedy, dangerous location in the city, one that was near many different bars. And for some reason, he loved to attack people who were drunk. And in fact, it is said that he only attacked those who were drunk. Now, despite being called a bloodsucker, Ludwig didn't bite his, vam his victims like a normal vampire would. Instead, it is said that he would cut their throats and drain their blood into a wooden cup, which he would drink from. Now, although many people claim to see Ludwig, and most of them actually gave very similar descriptions, the police at the time were never able to prove his existence. However, for what it's worth, they were also never able to disprove his existence either. Many bodies that were discovered in this area of New York City were investigated, and some of them were even investigated to see if they could possibly be Ludwig the Bloodsucker from Urban Legends. Now, eventually, this urban legend kind of died off and became forgotten about. And of course, as with a lot of history, it's unknown whether or not he truly existed. But what do you think? Was Ludwig a crazed blood sucker in the seedy part of New York City? Or is he just simply another urban legend?